Hey, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back guys to one of my another crazy adventures. Today we're going to go check out this cool overlook over here. We're right here in um, Cooper's Rock. We're about to check out this amazing overlook down Cooper's State Park, I mean State Forest. And um, I just got here, well the road is actually closed for the season where the parking lot we supposed to park at. So we had a park back there. I don't know if y'all guys can see the um, Hyundai over there. We had a park over there in the um, little um, picnic area. And we got to walk up the road that we supposed to drive at to get to the parking lot. And um, up here is going to leave us to the trail that we got to get to to get to this overlook up here. It's about a four and a half mile trail. So we're going to go try and enjoy ourselves. And um, hopefully we can run into some cool things up here. See some cool little um, sightseeing and stuff around here. Let's go explore. Let's go um, enjoy this day. It's kind of cold right now. But I know we're going to warm up once we start walking. So let's continue on walking right here. And I'm getting onto this parking lot just up here ahead. And I'm going to turn the camera around and let y'all guys see what it looks like. So y'all guys can see the same thing I'm looking at. And it's very empty here because it's closed for the season so there ain't no cars and nobody here but you are allowed to walk here so that's a good thing and over here is a map of the place over here so let's go check this out first so there's some information here about this place that's the overlook up top it's actually my first time being here, so we're gonna experience this place together. And this is a map here. Cooper's Rock. I guess people will rock climb here also. Probably certain, certain spots people rock climb. It's all these roofs and stuff here. And now uh, we're gonna get this thing started. Well, them roofs are mostly for the people that's gonna be camp that camps here. But, I don't think nobody's going to be camping here because it's freezing out here today. So, whoever's out here camping, whew, you better stay warm because it's freezing. I'm just looking for this trail here to get started and I think it's just up here ahead. So, I just walk up here and see what these signs up here says. Because I know this is a part of out here. I don't see no trails going in. But I definitely see some green signs up here that's saying something up here. So we gotta keep going straight, but it, just over here they got a um, little historical sign over here. It's in a little dangerous location next to this dumpster here, but hopefully nothing jumps out of it. But there it goes. That's a little information about this place before we get started here. I don't trust walking next to dumpsters. Especially in areas like this with beers and all types of different types of wildlife out here. Especially if they're hungry, they will attack. <laughs> Just walking up here, a couple of little buildings and stuff. I guess this is the camp section up here. So, just right here is a sign saying Cooper's um, Rock Overlook. So. We're going to take this little path over here. And I'm um, see what this place has to bring over here. Check out this overlook. Some information about this place also here. And this is from like the 19, the early 1900s. So, it's a lot of history here in this place. And we're going to go over here and check out this overlook just up here. Before we get onto the trail and continue on with the trail, let's go check out this cool overlook. It's all these like picnic tables and stuff, little picnic areas. It's another little plaque right here. Just up here is gonna be the overlook. I can see the trail that's leaving us over here straight. Just walking this cool little path here. Nice little stonework. We got another trail that's right here to the side. That's on um, the handicap accessories. Um little trail. I like the handicapped people when they come with their wheelchairs so they can still see this cool little overlook up here. And 
And it's good that we're here early because we got all these views to ourselves. So let's go check out these amazing views here. So we still gotta go on that side. So let's walk over there and let's go see what it looks like on, on the other side. And we gotta go back towards this way where we came from to get onto the main trail. This is just the overlook up here, just overlooking it. up here and let's start this trail up here now so we back here where we started at it's the sign with the overlook what's that and there's a building all the way back over here and um i think this is where the trail starts at up here so we're gonna walk over here and see if we can see any signs directing us into the trail so let's keep walking up here and let's find out so guys we're here at the end of the trail next to this building it's closed for the season though but there's like a little goodie store i guess you know, like ice cream, snacks, all types of good stuff here. But this is only open, I guess, in the summertime, so you're not gonna be able to explore in there. So let's go over here. There's a sign right here directing us, saying it's the trail. So let's see if we can see any markings, anything that directs us to the trail. See another little arrow saying overlook 500 foot. But I think we gotta go actually over here because this is the trail. The underlook trail. We just got done checking out the overlook, so we're gonna walk under it. This is the underlook trail here. I actually passed the sign, so let me just show you guys this little map here. This letting us know where we at here. And now we're gonna be following these little blue markings here. Doing this big loop around. And um doing all this big circle back around to the car so let's go enjoy this um nature out here let's go enjoy this forest and um so far we've seen some good stuff so i know there's a lot more in here so let's keep going on and let's finish enjoying this day it definitely got cold I had to bring out the uh the gloves out the bag put the heat warmers on also just to stay warm because it's freezing out here and me holding this camera was my fingers is like ice cubes. <laughs> Once I bend them, they feel like they're gonna just snap. <laughs> they think it's crazy. But I'm coming up here to some more signs. Walking up to these signs here. And I guess we gotta go this way. It's actually another trail that goes back over there. I'm not too sure we gotta go that way or we gotta go this way, but let's take a look over here. 
see what's over here in this corner. There's actually some steps that go down here. Let's see what's over down here. I'll take a look from down here. So it's cool down here. See some blue markings over here, so we're gonna follow these blue markings. Here's a spot down here. This is underneath the overlook. Some blue markings I see here. There, it's a nice stonework. Well, it ain't no stonework because it's nature here. There's a nice piece of stone just thrown there. And this thing is cool where I'm at here. This is right on the bottom of the um overlook. While we're working our way down to the bottom. That's the big rock that we was on top of. That's the overlook all the way up there. And this is the bottom of that big rock that we were standing on. Just look at this thing. It's so cool. A couple trails split off here. There's a couple signs here, so I'm gonna take a look at that. I'm right here with the sign at. There's a couple different split offs. I'm really not too sure where I'm going at, but we're just gonna wander around and check out this cool little national st state forest here. Well, what we could check out, because this place is real big, so we're not gonna be able to check everything out. But we will check out a lot of things here. And this is right in the bottom of Coop Cooper's Rock Overlook. And now I'm on this red trail. Don't even know where that leads to, but. I'm gonna head towards this way. Ooh. Ooh. Boy almost went down right there. I don't know where this thing's taking me to. Kinda feels like I'm going back towards like the, where the car is at, so I don't think this is the way I'm supposed to be going at. Check up here before I turn back. See what's up here. I don't see anything up here. Definitely see these red markings continuing on. I don't know what that's taking me to, so I might just turn back and try to find the main trail that we're supposed to be on. So guys, we turning back. Um, that way felt like I was, it was leading me to a different direction. I don't even know what way that was taking me to, but I'm gonna go back over here and um, get back onto the other trail that I seen that kept going around towards the other side. Because I think that's the main trail that we got to be on. I think that's the loop trail that's going to lead us around back to where our car is at. Um, so, we're just going back. I don't want to go to a trail that I don't really even know. Because I don't want to make that trail a little bit longer. So, I'm looking for the trail that I came here for. And I think it's just up here. So, let's go backtrack and see if we see any other signs. Letting us know where it's at. 
Cause I don't see no signs out here stating that um trail. But I'm back here. Going back up where these blue markings is at. Going up that other trail that was up here. I go back up through here. Just backtracking where we came from. Kinda got lost a little bit. Back up here. There's another trail that's over here that I'm gonna follow. That I think is the trail that we need to be on. So I'm thinking I gotta go this way. Coming up to this little picnic area right here. Because that's like the restroom over there. So all that stuff gonna be closed because you see where we in there. Everybody's up here to maintenance all this um little buildings and stuff, so they're just closing for the season. Following these markings right here. Right now these yellow markings. I'm not too sure where that's taking me to, but hey, let's go explore. See what we run into. And um, hopefully we don't get lost and we can find our way right back to the um to the car back home. <laughs> Cause I don't know where I'm at. I know I'm in West Virginia and I know I'm in the Cooper State Forest. So that's all I know. I don't really know too many trails around here. I don't know any roads around here. So hopefully we can um, enjoy ourselves and make ourselves back to the car nice and safe. So let's go explore and um, finish enjoying this beautiful outdoors. So now we with these um, yellow and white markings. Looks cool around here. Just a whole bunch of little tables and stuff. Cool spots you can eat at. They got a lot of tables, so this place must get crowded, especially in the summertime and springtime and stuff. This place gotta get crowded because they got a lot of like picnic areas. That's a cool piece of stone right there. With a fire pit right there. That's so cool. That cool shelter up there. Just gonna follow this path that's next to the shelter, this red path now. And I'm hopefully I can rem remember how to get back. <laughs> okay, that's my biggest thought right now. Thinking about if I continue this thing, can we make it back? <laughs> this is my head right now, so hopefully, guys, you can make it back, man, because. I think it's crazy. Lucky we started early and um, hopefully we don't get stranded out here when it gets late. So let's keep following these little um, red markings here and um, see what this take takes us to because if not, we're going to have to just turn back around and um, continue going back where we came from and just we're trying to find a new location. But let's keep walking this red little markings here and let's keep exploring this little um, state forest here. Still following these um, gray markings, but now it kind of feels like we're going the right direction. Uh, just a few minutes ago, it kind of feels like we was going a different direction, the way the trail was taking us to. But now it got me feeling a little bit more comfortable. I mean, feel a little bit more safer, and like we're going the right direction. So hopefully this is the right way, and I'll uh, be continue on with this four and a half mile trail and continue enjoying our day out here. Cause, um, yeah, I ain't trying to be walking more than four and a half miles. So we're gonna track ourselves and um, see how long we really be out here. It's about 10 o'clock right now in the morning. I've been out here since like probably like 9 o'clock. And um, I was just exploring, so I wasted a lot of time at the overlook back over there. Just exploring and checking that overlook out, taking a few pictures and stuff. But just got back onto the trail. Um, so hopefully, we can bang this thing out as quick as possible. And um, yeah, and enjoy it out here. So let's keep following these red markings 
and uh, hopefully this lead us to the trail that we need to continue on. So let's keep following these markings. So we're here following the very markings. And there's this cool piece of stone just right here on the side. There's actually a little trail that leads into that stone. So I guess a lot of people come here and take pictures of the stone here. I might just do the same thing, take a cool picture of this place with this cool stone right here because that's a nice little shaped stone. Whew, I'm out of breath. This is the trail we've been hiking on. The rain markings coming from up there. We gotta continue this thing straight. Continuing it straight, following it straight down. So I'm gonna stop here, take a quick picture before we get back onto the trail back over here. So let's take a quick pit. So we just, um, Finish taking a cool picture of that cool rock back over there. Getting back onto this little ray markings here. Just following this thing straight down. Kind of looks like something coming up here, like a little shelter or something. I see some buildings from where I'm at here, so I'm gonna keep going down and see what that looks like down there. Um, hopefully, it's a cool little old building that we can take some cool pictures of. But let's keep going down. My head just enjoying my breakfast, man. Forgot to eat, so lucky I had these um little granola bar type things. Ooh, I'm a trip right there. Gotta watch my steps. It's a lot of um roots coming out the ground here. But I'm gonna turn the camera around again. Show you guys what it looks like in front of me. This is a big field right here, right on the side of me. I'm mean, coming up to these little buildings I was talking about up here. It's a little shelter over there. And then you guys can see it just over there next to the um, tree. It's actually another little building that's over here. Kind of looks like a little picnic area because I see some benches. So it's probably a little spot that you can relax in. So give you guys a little look at that. Once we get up here. Yep, it's another little picnic area. A little picnic area with a little chimney in there. Actually splits off up here a few times. It's the trail that goes up here. The rake goes up through there. There's a blue little trail here. There's another white trail that's over here. And um this map here. So I'm gonna look at this thing and see where we gotta go at. So it's saying that we gotta follow the um ridge trail. So that's this white little marking that's up here. We just came from the red over there. The red actually turns going up there to Rock City hiking trail. And we're gonna go to Ridge Hiking Trail. That's this little trail that's right here. With these white markings. And now we're gonna follow these um little markings over here. These white markings. So it's no longer no more red markings. Now we back onto the white markings. So all these little markings just keep jumping back and forth. So it's cool little shelters here on the side of me. I think that's just like little bathrooms and stuff like that. Looks like we're coming up to some uphill up here. Ooh, I'm gonna slip right there, that rock was wet. I'm always um, almost falling on these trails. These trails are harder than it looks, man. Especially with all these rocks that sticks out of the ground with leaves and stuff on top of it. Definitely makes the job harder walking on it. Over here, still following the white markings. The bridge hiking trail. So if you can turn right here on Rhododendron Trail. The bridge trail just continues on to the left of me. 
But we're gonna go right here to the right and continue this trail over here. I don't even know if I pronounced that trail right, but yeah, guys, wanna go back and look that up and see how it's pronounced. Y'all could just pause the video back over there. It's like a weird name had to it, but it's a trail that's gonna leave us around to the loop trail. That's what it was saying back there on the map. So hopefully this is it. So we're on the road to dungeon trail. And uh, I don't see no markers on this trail. But it does look like a little path here that we're walking us. So we're gonna keep walking on this path and see if we see any markings up here. So let's continue walking this path because that was supposed to be the trail we supposed to take that's gonna leave us around as a loop back to the car. So hopefully this is the trail. Coming up to like this little patio type of thing here. over here doesn't got any markings but it's definitely a trail that we are I know that for sure because it looks just like a trail it actually has this walkway it's a little glitchy now but it is a trail here you can see that we are walking on the trail so hopefully this is the trail that's going to take us around we won't know until we walk a little bit more in until we see any other signs that's up here see it will let us know anything so let's see Hopefully we can run into the sign directing us somewhere here. So guys, we just came out from this trail right here. I ran into this sign coming out of it. Actually some orange markings that goes straight through here. You know, I'm assuming we gotta keep following these orange markings now. Right here to the left, we gotta turn. Once we get off the trail that we just came from back over there, we turn left. You know, it's still the same trail. We just change, well, it doesn't change colors, but this is the first markings that we actually get to see since we came out of the trail into that little intersection right there where that little split off was at. But this is still the same trail here. It's like a little um, boardwalk across on here, little patio type thing. And um, there's a whole bunch of markings there. I see a whole bunch of orange markings in front of me, so um, hopefully it's leading somewhere. markets here at least this section right here makes you feel a little safer because it's marked so you can actually know that you're on the trail so we still here in the orange on uh, markings going downhill and um I see this cool like chimney looking thing down here so we're gonna go over here and check that out it looks amazing from up here so let's go check that out and see how old that thing is from it looks very old from up here so let's go take a look you gotta come up to like this turn up here but I'm gonna cross over this bridge and um go take a look at this big chimney stuff over here whatever this is so we gotta continue going right here at the um clay run hiking trail but I'm gonna cross over here and go take a look at that cool um, chimney that's over there. So we're crossing this bridge that's right here. There's another bridge that's up here and we gotta cross just to get over here to check this thing out. I don't know if you guys can see it from here, but just look at that thing. I think it's so cool. Let's get a little closer and check it out closer. Across this bridge here. Another bridge. Take a look at this big chimney here. Whatever this was here. I'm not too sure what it was, but just like these stones just stacked up on top of each other. Just made this cool chimney looking thing right here. I guess this was like a it says it was a iron. This is for iron and stuff. I guess I used to burn iron on here. In here. You can actually go in there. But. I'll show you guys what that looks like from right there. I'm not trying to crawl inside here. And get super muddy. 
but let's go look over here and some of this information about this thing. Let's see, this is what this was right here. So this was once a factory right here. This is crazy. It's so cool. I think I might just go inside of there. If you guys want me to go in there, guys, let me know. Comment down below if you guys want me to crawl in there. But for now, let's explore around here. This little carving right here on this wood. Some old pipes. Look at these pipes. Back in the days, look how thick them pipes was. Some more information about this area right here. There's actually a little trail that goes up here. So before we go inside of here, let's take a look up here on this trail. This thing goes up. See some old little stonework up here also. Not too sure what's up here, but let's take a look. It's very steep going up, so. Whew. Actually, it's nothing. Just the top of this thing. And a couple trails. We're gonna go back down. And uh, I'm trying to go inside of there and go take a look from the inside of this tower. I gave that guy's a little peek in there with the camera, but this time you're gonna crawl in there and not really take a look inside. So let's go in. I'm so excited, guys. Let's go in here now. Check this tower out. Hope nothing is in there. <laughs> but it's crawling. Might get a little dirty here, but we're gonna go in. This thing is super cool. We just crawl from that little hole right there inside of here. He's looking up to the sky. So we just got done checking that out. Now let's go back under here and get out of here. That was a crazy little crawl. And I'm gonna get back into our trail over here. We don't got that much time. So, let's keep on going. We're not even halfway throughout the trail, so. We gotta continue on with this loop. So we gotta go back over here. Now, um, cross over this bridge again. Go to the other side over here. And then continue on with this um, clay clay hiking trail up here, clay run hiking trail. Just crossing this other bridge. That's where we came from up there. That trail coming down that hill. That's where we was coming from in the beginning. Before we went and checked out that tower. Now we're gonna take this little path here to um, Clay's Run Trail. And this right here, I see some blue markings, so I'm assuming this, this trail right here is gonna have blue markings, so we're gonna keep our eyes out for that marking. And um, hopefully, this trail has markings because the other trail we was at before it didn't have any markings, but it definitely was a trail, but it didn't have no markings at all. I can actually see another blue marking straight down. So, this truck does have markings. Here, coming up to 
Another little bridge over here we gotta cross. Found these blue markings. This little wooden bridge here we crossing. A little creek down below. And the blue trail continues up here. Crossing another bridge here. following these blue markings and this thing just getting steeper and steeper just going uphill and on my cat muscles I didn't think it'd take the top of this mountain <laughs> that's how steep this thing is but that's the side of me to drop all the way down there so we kind of high going up <laughs> and we still got a lot more to go so let's keep following these little blue markings up here going up this uphill and um whew. Yeah, I hope this view pays off. Well, I hope this up here pays off once we get to the top of this hill. So hopefully they got like a bench or something up here. Maybe we can take a nice little break or something. Because these feet are here. These ones are beat. Haven't did a little long trail for quite a while. Well, actually a hard trail like this. Going up and down hills and stuff like that. For quite a while. Took a little break. But I'm back here. I should have did some exercise before I started. I did exercise before I left out the house. But I should have did some exercise before I got started this trail. Just to get my legs prepared for this thing. But I didn't. So we're here. Struggling going up. <laughs> this thing got me out of breath like crazy. It definitely heat up the her body heat got a, a whole body warmed up so like I'm sweating but don't want to um, take the jacket off and get sick or anything like that because once I stop it does get cold but if you're on the move and you keep walking your energy will build up heat and I'm walking up this uphill here definitely build my heat up got me sweating out here We got here to the top, but it's still going up a little bit. But at least it got a little bit more flat than that straight uphill we were just walking up. It is a little bushier up here. Um, but this is still the blue trail. If it was on, we just going straight, following this thing straight up. I can imagine in the summertime, this trail right here probably so bushy. You can barely in and see the trail probably. Cause you can tell just by the side that a lot of grass and stuff grows here. So we're coming up to another map that's right here. There's also another parking lot that's up here. So we're getting closer to the car up here. There's a road that's just in front of me on the other side of this sign here. But I'm gonna take a look at this map. Still letting us know where we at. And, um, we got to continue on going through this trail right here. Got to follow this trail over here. Going straight up. And this right here is going to leave us where our car is at. So, guys, we walking the trails right here. It doesn't have no markings. But, um, so far we are going the right direction. I just looked at the map back there and it was telling us that we are going the same way where our car is parked at. That's the road up there. That we came in on when we first came to this park here we drove up that road here so i'm a little familiar with that you can't actually walk on that road because it's a small little road and um, it's dangerous if you're trying to walk on there because a lot of cars come through here you know the speed limit is 25 miles per hour but some cars actually go faster than that on that road so you don't want to take no chances and walk on that road so they got this little trail right here on the side right next to that road up there and I'm um, just gonna leave us the same direction where that road is taking us to. 
Honky G5 let's throw the path here. Don't get off this path here. Um, you should be good. Get where the um especially where the main entrance at up here. But we can't get to the main entrance because it was closed, but we're gonna go where our car is at. And um, we should be able to see our car once we go up a little bit. And um it should be right there on the left side of us. On top of that road, parked on the side. It's like a little picnic area. And I'm um, car parked right there. So just gotta keep an eye on that. You gotta keep looking to the um left. And I'm um, making sure you don't pass it. So there's another parking lot that's right here. But we're gonna stay on the trail up here. Continue and follow this little path here. We just gotta follow this trail right here for like about like a quarter mile. And then we should get to the car once we go up here. Probably a little bit less than a quarter mile. Cause we actually didn't park in the parking lot that we were supposed to. We parked in a little picnic area. Cause the parking lot we were supposed to park at was closed for the season. So we gotta just keep our eye on the side of this road here. And um, see if we see any um little way that we could get back up there. gonna be like another little trail up here that's gonna leave us where our car is at so we just gotta keep our eye for that little trail and hopefully we don't pass it so right here on the other side that's where our car is at and um i just gotta find a way to get over there because there's a lot more cars that's over there when i first got here there was no cars there But let me see if I can find. I think this could be like a little trail here, so I know. And this will lead us over here. Yep. He got us over here, so now we just gotta find a way over this tree here. So we might have to just climb it. Matter of fact, he go this way also. We might have to climb that tree. We could just come out through right here. And we right here with the cars at. So, see all these cars here? It's a lot more cars than when we came here. And um, we made it. Made out this loop. We just came out through this trail. We started over there on that trail. And um, now we back here. So guys, we back inside a car. That was a crazy little four and a half mile hike. It wasn't that hard, but... It did have some uphills that definitely um, wear you out, but we made it back. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm about to hit the roads. I'm going to continue on with my next journey. So I'll see you guys on my next adventures. Make sure you guys go subscribe, turn on your notification. And um, if you guys like this video, please do me another favor. Hit that thumb buttons up and um, come support the adventures. Go check out the website, rate254adventures.com. I'm show you boys some love. And um, I'm about to wrap this thing up. So peace, guys. And I'll see you all on my next adventures.